is a long way from L.A. A long way. Hello, Larry. Hello, Larry. Hello, Larry. Hello, Larry. Wow, hello, Larry. And now, hello, Larry. Sure. You got a driver's license? No, I never drive when I'm drinking. <laughs> See you, guys. Okay, hold my breath. Hey, Tommy, that's my ball. I'll try and get it. See, Dad, look at her. Oh, all right, Ruthie, that's enough. You know, someday somebody's going to deck a Mr. Alder. I do it myself, only I don't hit girls. Turns them on. <laughs> hey, Dad, tomorrow can we work on my body checking? You got it. Ruthie, go take a shower. You smell like the boys' gym. Well, at least that'll sit around plucking my eyebrows all day long. <laughs> you know, today she plucked enough to stuff a whole pillow. <laughs> Well, she is right about one thing, honey. Go take the shower. If that wind comes out of the west, we're all in big trouble. I can't even sweat in my own house. See, Dad, you haven't got a daughter. You've got a boy with bumps. And you want to know something else? It's all your fault. My fault? We got to talk. Don't answer it. Honey, I, I really should. The building might be on fire, and I'd hate to be the last one to know. <laughs> Larry, ask me why I am the best producer in the history of communications. Hey, you didn't have to get all dressed up for me. Uh, I'm about to take a shower, Morgan. Care to join me? <laughs> I said I was the best producer, not the most desperate. Listen, Larry, there's a celebrity golf tournament on the 22nd, and all the biggies are going to be there. When, uh, when I mentioned your name, they jumped up and down. Naturally. They knew you could get Meadowlark to play. Morgan, our date in the shower is off. No, really, Larry, the station is behind this, and they want you there. They want you and Meadowlark to play against Commissioner Higgins and his partner. <laughs> oh, Duffer Higgins? <laughs> Who's his partner? Arnold Palmer. <laughs> Don't forget, you've got Meadowlark. Yeah, well, there's one tiny problem, Morgan. Meadowlark's never been on a golf course in his life. Well, that doesn't matter. You'll play and he'll sign autographs. He is a big celebrity. Yeah, well, so was I till you took over my career. Morgan, please, Dad and I have to talk, okay? Oh, I'm sorry, honey. He's all yours. Listen, you better practice up. They say this Arnold Palmer's pretty good. <laughs> Hi, gorgeous. Well, hello, handsome. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm back. No, you're not. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Mr. Alder, you're gonna let her talk to a neighbor like that? Yes. Boy, if I was gonna be insulted, I could stay with my father. <laughs> now, I'm going to make absolutely sure that no one else enters this apartment until I talk to you. It's a regular parade around here. Larry Alder? Nobody home, Leona. Now, Larry, you listen to me. Now, we may have a John in terraces, but we don't have to have a John in friends. Now, you tell that friend of yours to keep his hands to himself. My friend? What friend? Hummingbird grapefruit. <laughs> you mean meadowlark lemon? Uh, well, I knew it was a bird and a citrus. <laughs> You know, I was in the hallway bent over to put the trash out, and this turkey came along beside me and touched base. Hello, Lark. I don't believe that. Hey, wait a minute. Was uh, Tommy in the vicinity? Yeah. Well, a little guy like Tommy wouldn't... Yes, he would. <laughs> Leona, Dad, and I are trying to Yeah, talk. look, Leona... Diane here thinks that uh, Ruthie has been in the tomboy stage too long. Now, look, you're Ruthie's teacher. What are the other girls in her class like? Well, most of them are just interested in clothes, makeup, and boys. Most of them? And Ruthie's in the minority? You want to pick another word? <laughs> Larry, if you need help, come to me, okay? Right now, I've got one mission in life. And that is to find that little Tommy, and I'm going to spank his little Italian cacciatore. <laughs> now, Dad, please stay right here and listen to me. I don't want any more interruptions. Damn! Now, wait a minute. I don't want you using that word until your 17th birthday. And then you get to use it once a week. 
Hello? Yeah. Ruthie, phone! Now, this is a nice guy named Richard. I want you to listen to how she talks to him. Hello? Oh, hi, butthead. <laughs> butthead? Yeah, it was your fault, man. You should have blocked that guy out. Yeah, why don't you yell at me, banana face? Ruthie, what kind of talk is that? She talks that way all the time. Well, I never heard it. You never listen. A dance? You know I hate dances. Then why don't you ask that fat do I made Mellinger girl? Yeah, she likes getting pushed around to music. <laughs> yeah, well, the same to you, Buster. Jerk. See, Dad, she's embarrassing. All my friends think she's some kind of a throwback. <laughs> and I think you want a son so much, you're turning her into one. Now, listen, Ruthie's perfectly normal. She'll turn into a girl when the time comes. Hey, don't forget, pal, I, I did a pretty good job with you. Yeah, but Mom was around then. I mean, I used to sit on the edge of the bed and watch her put on makeup. And then I'd get into her shoes and pretend I was Faye Dunaway. <laughs> Daddy, you don't wear makeup. And Ruthie can't pretend she's Faye Dunaway in your sneakers. Look, Diane, I understand exactly what it is you're trying to say. And if I'm holding on too long, well, just, so what? I'm, I'm just not in a hurry to let my little girl go from sneakers to high heels. Are you sorry I grew up? No, honey, no. Hey, maybe you're right. Maybe now is the time to let her change into a sweet, sensitive young woman like you. Ruthie! Oh, boy, can I hang around while you blast her? <laughs> so much for the sweet and sensitive. Goodbye, Diane. Yeah! With the alder, starring in dynamite fist. Okay, Kung Fu, sit down. What? Well, look, uh, there's something that's starting to bother me, and I want to discuss it, honey. Now, for instance, uh, that boy, Butthead. <laughs> um, did, did he ask you to a dance? Yeah. His girlfriend got sick, so he asked me. You know what I should have gave him? I should have gave him one of these. Hey, yeah. Mm. Oh. Uh, before I black out, honey, something I'd like to ask you. Now, don't you think that you should go to a junior high dance just to see what it's like? Well, too, Dad, I mean, all they do is run around and sweat and wear themselves out. <laughs> Nobody wins. Honey, a dance isn't a game or a tournament. I mean, it's a place where you meet people and you have fun. I mean, you know that as well as I do. Well, every dance I've ever been to, all, the, all that happens is a guy tries to kiss you with Kool-Aid still on his lips. And you hate that? Grape. Yeah, well, that's not my all-time favorite either. But you know, honey, there, there is something to be said for flirting and holding hands and... and... Well, that's it, uh, flirting and holding hands. Dad, why are you telling me all this stuff? I don't have any idea. <laughs> Except, honey, you're, you're so pretty. You know, I, I can't remember the last time I saw you wearing a dress. Well, I hate dresses. I mean, the wind whistles up your legs, and when you bend over, everybody sees your underpants. <laughs> well, yes, there is that. But you'd look so cute, don't you think? Dad, don't you like me the way I am? Oh, honey, like you. <laughs> like you. I, I love you. Then why do you want me to change? Well, because I, I, I think it, I really... I don't. Just forget I said anything. Dad? Hmm? Go take a shower. <laughs> the uh, wind is coming out of the west, huh? Uh, listen, Diane, uh, when you're a father, you can take care of it your own way. So forget. So you gave Dad another one of your snow jobs, right? Dad likes me the way I am, Diane, so butt out. You want to stay a grubby, smelly little brat for the rest of your life? Oh, no, I want to be like you. And during the World Series, you go to the movies with a boyfriend. How dumb can you be? Okay, stay a stupid caterpillar that never turns into a butterfly. Well, I'll be a butterfly when the time comes. Yeah, but by then you'll have wrinkled wings. <laughs> Ruthie, 
Timothy, think about Dad for a minute. And don't tell me he likes you the way you are, because he said that so you wouldn't feel bad. No, he didn't. Ruthie, he's a father, and he's entitled to all the things a father should get out of a daughter. Like seeing you in a great dress, or worrying about you when you're out on a date with a guy, or turning white when you ask him about the pill. <laughs> and your fathers love that kind of stuff. Are you sure, Diane? Yeah, I'm sure. Hey, guys, I just got out a nice fluffy bath towel and I put down a nice soft bath mat. Got the water to a perfect temperature. Now, who in this family eats the soap? <laughs> Dad, I'm going to make you forget the soap. I want to do something that's going to make you real happy. Hello, is Richard there? Richard, this is Ruthie. Ruthie Alder, dummy. Yeah, well, if you still want me to go to the dance with you, I'll go. Yeah, but you better wear something decent, because I'm going to wear a dress. Yep, hang on to your hat. The butterfly is coming out of its cocoon. And anything goes. You gotta keep your eye on the ball, pal. And when we play in this tournament, you gotta keep your head down. Not me. They're gonna take pictures. <laughs> hey, uh, where's the hair dryer? The hair dryer. The, the hair dryer is on the couch. Ah, oh. How's Ruthie doing? Oh, just fine. You'll never recognize her. Well, don't overdo it. She's only 13. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll see you later, Larry. Hey, uh, Meadowlark, uh, before you go, Listen, pal, do you think I'm doing the right thing pushing Ruthie along like this? No. No? Why? Well, I had a niece who ran the 100-yard dash in 11 flat. So? It was a high school record. She could have been great. Met Metalark, uh, what, what is the point that you're making? Well, she met a guy. And? She was only 15. And? She had a kid. And? She had another kid. I, are you going to feed me one kid at a time? <laughs> I still don't get the point. She had nine kids. <laughs> Look, are you telling me that I should leave Ruthie the way she is? She'll beat nine kids. <laughs> oh, Larry, Ruthie is going to be beautiful. I sure hope you like the dress Diane and I picked out for her. She wanted something with cleavage. Well, she's too young to cleave. <laughs> yeah. Well, we figured you'd say that. So we did get her something really lovely. You know something? I can't wait to see her in this dress. Listen, if she doesn't look too happy, don't let it bother you. She's going to have a lot of fun at the dance. I think you did the right thing making her go. Yeah, I think so. I mean, she needs to feel feminine. There's, uh, there's too much uh, macho male image in this house. <laughs> did another man move in? Yes, but he saw you without makeup and he moved out again. I love it when you talk rough. <laughs> Here she is. Hold your breath. How do I look? <laughs> the first kid that touches you dies. You look stunning, honey. One clammy hand on that little shoulder, and his arm comes out of the socket. You know, it's touching to hear a father rave like that. If anybody even looks at you, I'm going to break his eyeballs. Make your father happy, sweetheart. Spend the evening in the closet. Good night. Good night, Good night, Diane. Good night. Hey, Ruthie, I, I, I can't get over it, honey. You look lovely. Thanks, Dad. your legs. The one on top always goes to sleep. No, no, that's okay, honey. Uh, all of a sudden, I don't want you looking too great. You know, Dad, I can always tell Richard to get lost and come back when I'm 27 and too old to care what I look like. You better finish getting ready. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like living with a gorilla. <laughs> Hi, I'm Richard Banning. Oh, um, hi. Uh, come on in, Richard. Ruthie will be ready in a minute. 
My mother made me bring the flower. You know, I like a boy that listens to his mother. <clears throat> Are you driving? No, I'm only 14. My friend drives. He's waiting downstairs. See a good driver? Yeah, he's terrific. He already won two drag races. Hi, Richard. Hi, you look okay. Thanks. You want me to pin the flower on you? Oh, sure. Uh, wait a minute, pal. I'll do that. Uh, I know where the bones are. There we go, honey. Now, um, I think I'll drive you kids to the dance. Oh, well, no, Dad. That's okay. Yeah. Well, uh, okie dokie. Uh, tell your friend to take it easy, Richard. I want Ruthie home by 10. 10? 10. Okay. Come on, Ruthie. Okay. Bye, oh, Dad. Dad, isn't 10 o'clock a little unreasonable? Absolutely. <laughs> hi, Ruthie. Oh, hi, Tommy. You like my dress? What's the matter? Your jeans dirty? <laughs> Tommy, this is Richard. We're going to a dance. A dance? You were supposed to go roller skating with me. Oh, gee, Tommy, I'm sorry. I forgot. Ah, that's all right. Dump him. <laughs> well, who's this little jerk? Hey, watch it, Alice. Don't call me a jerk or she'll deck you. Why don't we go to the dance for a couple minutes so we can say we went to the dance? And then we can go to the roller palace and put on some roller skates. And then when people ask us if we went dancing, we can say yes, because we dance on our skates, okay? Um, we'll explain it to you on the way, Blondie. <laughs> floor here and the whole building is on a slant and you skate lousy that too uh two root beers okay got it two what am i chop liver <laughs> yeah i brought her i didn't bring you hey listen alice my crunchy and not too good to start with is going downhill fast cut it out you guys forget the root beers okay let's go skate again Want to buy me a root beer for no reason at all? Here's a little fox in the red dress out there. I don't know her name. I do. Okay. What's her name? What's her work to you? Who knows root beer? Her name's Ruthie. She lives with me. In the same apartment building. Where's that? Hey, listen. I don't sell my soul for a lousy root beer. Anything else kicking here tonight? Hey, what happened to Gloria? And that one from last Saturday? They're not here. But she is. Hey, lay off, all right? She's only 13. So? So you're an old guy. <laughs> What's the matter? Can't you handle girls in your own age group? My van doesn't know the difference. Hey, forget about your root beer crumb. And forget about Ruthie. You couldn't get the first base with her. Wanna bet? Before the night's over, she's gonna be saying, Cubby Olsen, I'm your lady. They all do. Take your best shot. Ruthie's got too much class for a punk like you. Oh, that was fun. Hey, let's get out of here, Ruthie. Well, hey, it's still early, Tommy. I'll take that root beer now, okay? Hello, Ruth. Ruth? Oh, hi. I've been watching you. You skate great. Thanks. Okay with you if I ask your date if she'll skate around with me? Well, um, sure. You didn't clear it with me. Would you, Ruth? Well, I don't know. It's so hard to find good partners. Just this once, okay? I'll bring you back all in one piece. I promise. Okay with you, Richard? I guess. Okay. My name is Cubby Olson. Oh, my name is Ruthie. A uh, Ruth. A uh, Ruth Alder? Mr. Volk, you are the chaperone at a public school dance. I am a father and a taxpayer, and I have a right to know where my daughter is. I told you. She's a cute little girl in a cute little dress. <laughs> Okie dokie, that boils it down to 115. Cute little girls in cute little dresses. Don't yell at him, Dad. 
Mr. Volk, I told her to be home at 10 o'clock, and it's now 11.15. Ah, forget it. I'll, I'm coming down there myself. She's okay. Don't get steamed, Dad. Look, I'm going to explain something to you, Diane. Now, whether you know it or not, fathers get steamed when their daughters come home late. Don't go down there, Dad. You'll embarrass her to death. Tough. Well, Ruth Ellen Alder, where have you been? Do you know what time it is? Do you know what I've been through? Dad, thanks for making me go out tonight. You changed my whole life. I left this house a little girl and I came back a woman. I'm gonna kill Richard. Oh no, it's not Richard. Cubby Olson. All we did is talk all night long. He looked into my eyes and well, something happened. Dad, there's nothing I wouldn't do for him. Cubby Olson's lady. So long, guys. Hey, why are you throwing your dolls away? Well, dolls are for children. Cubby Olson made me realize I'm not a child anymore. I'm a woman. Does that mean you're going to throw out the candy you keep under your pillow? A woman still gets hungry, you know. <laughs> you know, last night, Cubby and I, we shared a root beer. I still have his straw. <laughs> Ruthie, maybe you ought to forget about Cubby, okay? He goes to my school, and all the girls in my class think he's a creep. Well, that's what Juliet's class said about Romeo. <laughs> and Romeo didn't have a van. Ruthie, from what I hear, he goes out with a different girl every night. And he finally found the right one. <laughs> Say, do you think my nose needs straightening? My brain needs straightening. <laughs> Ruthie, he's 17. Yes, he's 17. He's got wide shoulders and he shaves. <laughs> oh, I'll get it. Hello? Oh, it's you. Yeah, she's still here. And she's still 13. Jimmy, that's Cubby. Oh, she can't talk right now, Cubby. She's got lollipops stuck in her braces. You know, Cubby? But don't listen to Diane. Old maids get very sarcastic. <laughs> Hold on a minute, okay? I'll take this one in my room. Uh, Ruthie, I need the phone. Try to get off before the rates go up. <laughs> hey, Diane, I have a great idea. What? Why don't you put on some mayonnaise? I'm going to take these to Greg and the guys. They'll be hungry. They're in line buying his tickets for the Bee Gees concert tonight. Oh, yeah? Which one is Greg? Oh, he's the one with the red hair. You said you liked him because he looked pale and weak. <laughs> right. Ruthie, I've got to call the station. In a minute, Dad. Well, she's good for an hour, Dad. She's talking to Cubby. She's really got the hots for him. <laughs> The hots? Could you use another expression? She hasn't got the hots. She likes the guy. Oh, she's way past like Dad. She's got the burning yearning. <laughs> I think I like the hots better. <laughs> Ruthie, I've got to call the station. Morgan wants me to do some commercials tonight. In a minute, Dad. Dad, you know, it's your fault. You're the one who pushed her into meeting guys. Oh? Seems to me I had a partner. Yeah, but I didn't know she was going to fall for an older guy. An older guy? Do you still mean what you said last night, Cubby? That I'm a delicate rosebud blossoming into a gorgeous flower? Yeah, I meant it, honey. You know something else, Ruth? I've been thinking about you every minute. Really? And I didn't even think you'd remember my name. How could I forget it? And how could I forget that body? And that long blonde hair and those kissable lips. <laughs> Ruthie! Damn it! What could a 17 year old possibly want with a 13 year old kid? Maybe he can't cut it with girls his own age. He's gonna make it with a kid. <laughs> cut it? Make it? 
the hots? Gee, whatever happened to the nice things Andy Hardy used to say on the porch? Who's Andy Hardy? <laughs> He's the one who should be on the other end of that line. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, I, I can't talk right now. There's kind of a lot of people in the room all of a sudden. Ruthie, get off that phone. One minute. What were you saying, Cubby? You better be saying goodbye. Dad. Well, I know. I, I feel the same way, too. It doesn't seem like, like we only met each other last night. Goodbye, Cubby. Dad! <laughs> Dad, that's the worst thing a parent could do to a kid. Tough rockers. <laughs> Okay, when I'm old, put me in a home. <laughs> Okie dokie, you call Morgan. Tell her I'll be at the station at 8 tonight. Ruthie? Go away, okay? No, honey, I won't go away. Look, I made a mistake about the phone. I'm sorry. Diane tells me this Cubby Olsen is 17. That's right. That's why you shouldn't have hung up on him. He made me look like a little kid. Good. I hope Cubby noticed. <laughs> yeah, he probably did. Don't you realize you just wrecked my whole life? <laughs> I wrecked your whole life, honey? <laughs> you just met him yesterday. <laughs> yeah, but I waited for him for 13 years. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you ought to get to know him, Dad. He's real great. He really is. Honey, he's four years older than you. Well, what do you two talk about? Oh, we talked about how how wide apart my eyes are and <laughs> how mature I am and how well developed I am for my age. <laughs> he's real deep. <laughs> and that's as deep as he's gonna get. Dad, I mean, we talked about uh, music and, and art and the international situation. The international situation? Well, yeah. He said with all those politicians messing around, he couldn't get gasoline for his van. <laughs> he is deep. You know, Dad, you keep making him sound like a, like a little jerk. But he's not. Did you know he's real funny, too? Last night he said, uh, I like that show about the fish. <laughs> Name that tuna. <laughs> <laughs> what am I worried about? A boy that tells jokes like that can't live long. <laughs> Look, Ruthie, I'm the one who wanted you to start dating, honey. But I, I was talking to you about going to a chaperone dance with a nice 14-year-old boy like Richard. Richard's a child. He doesn't know how to treat a woman. Well, he'll learn. <laughs> and when he learns, uh, dump him and go with somebody else. <laughs> now, that's probably the station. Let's add it up, okay? Last night, you were supposed to be home at 10. You got home at 11.15. You were supposed to go to a dance, and you went to a roller rink. You were supposed to be with Richard, and you wound up with Cubby. Ruthie, you're not old enough to run your own life. Dad! No, 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 that's it. The guy's too old. The end. It's him again. Oh, no, I think I'm going to pass out. You want me to explain to him why I hung up? No! <laughs> Hello, Cubby. This is Ruth. Just a minute. Is everybody just going to stand around and listen? Okay, let's go and let them discuss the international situation. <laughs> Hi. Oh, a movie at the drive-in? <laughs> I'd love to. Yeah, I've only seen it three times. Are you talking about tonight? Or which drive-in? Ruth Ellen. Uh, just a minute. Oh, Dad, please, please, please. Haven't you heard a word I said? 
You're 13. This guy is 17. You're not going to any drive-in with somebody who has to pay full price. <laughs> you want to think it over, Dad? Ruthie, look at me. No movie, no date, no hamburger at the corner, no walk around the block, no leaving this house for any reason to see Cubby Olson. Have I covered everything? Yes, Dad. Good. Very good. Uh, Cubby, listen, I'll, I'll call you back later. I got an idea. Well, I... All right, just have a good time. With her. Hey, Metal Arc, how you doing? Oh, Larry, how you doing, babe? Hi, All right. uh, Morgan, sorry I'm late. Uh -huh. My words, please. Right here. Okay, hi, this is Larry Alder, Vaza, 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 that's it? That's it. You got it. Ready, Metal Lark? Ready, Morgan. Okie doke. Go, Larry. Hi, this is Larry Alder introducing a new sponsor, Metal Arc Lemon. Metal Arc has a sporting goods store. Come there when you can. <laughs> and balls and more and things for the outdoor man with the duck call here <laughs> and a moose call here <laughs> hair duck there moose everywhere duck moose <laughs> metal lock hands are sporting good store call the whole cut wait a minute morgan did you write this commercial yes i wrote it larry what's wrong with it Oh, it's a little lousy here, a little crummy there, here a louse, there a crumb, everywhere a louse crumb. Larry, you don't know anything about marketing. I do. And, and silly jingles bring in customers. The only customer that'll bring in is a big moose. <laughs> well, if he's got cash, he's welcome. <laughs> Larry, do you know how I got my own string of sporting goods stores? Oh, how? By doing things like this. I hope a duck flies in and kisses you right on the lips. Well, now, what are you doing? I'm going to call home and see if everything's okay. Ruthie and I had a little argument this morning. Hello? Oh, hi, Dad. No, we're fine. Yeah, Diane's going out with Greg the week. Yeah, I'm going to stay here. Yes, he got the tickets. Boy, Dad, how could you ask a thing like that? No, I'm not going out with Cubby. No honest. I love you. Bye. Ruthie, what are you squirting that stuff on yourself for? Ruth Ellen Alder, what's going on? Nothing. Ruthie. You're not going to sneak out and be Cubby, are you? Heck no. Good. You know I wouldn't do anything like that. He's, he's coming over here. <laughs> <laughs> Ruthie. Not Ruthie. Ruth. <laughs> Cubby. He didn't say Cubby couldn't come over here. <laughs> you know what he meant. Well, quit worrying, Diane. I'm not a little girl anymore. <laughs> I'm a woman. <laughs> Ruthie, what are you going to do when he starts uh, blowing in your ear? <laughs> Is that what they do to women? <laughs> You know, sometimes I don't know if you're kidding me or you're just dumb. Ruthie, he's going to come in here and he's going to sit down on the couch next to you and he's going to grab you and he's going to hug you and he's going to kiss you and he's... Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not going. Oh, yes, you are. I can't wait to get started. <laughs> Ruthie, can I get through to you? Look, has any guy ever touched you... here? Well, sure. <laughs> You're kidding. No, it happened lots of times. When? In hockey. It's the only way you can body check. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You don't know anything about anything. I'm not going. 
Now I'm gonna tell that cubby. Hi. Hi, Tommy. It's good to see you. Come on in. Have some food. Make yourself comfortable. I must be in the wrong apartment. <laughs> I'm going to ask you one little favor. Diane. I don't need him. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Diane, I don't want him around. Well, I do. <laughs> now, look. I'm open for bids. Now, how much do I get to leave and how much do I get to stay? If you stay, you get a kick in the pants. Do I hear a better offer? Ruthie, you listen to me. Dad would not want me to leave you alone with that creep, Cubby. So just calm down. Now, Tommy, I'll give you uh, 30 cents to stay with Ruthie for a while. Wow, big spender. I'll go buy myself a little wrench in Idaho. All right, 50 cents. Hey, terrific. Now I can buy cattle. <laughs> oh, no, he's here. I think I'm going to pass out. Hi, Diane. Listen, Cubby. I'm leaving you alone here with Ruthie and Tommy. Have fun. Hi. You remember me, your friendly Italian chaperone? <laughs> Listen, Cubby, why don't you go make yourself at home? I'll have a little talk with Tommy. Sure. You're my friend, right? Well, yeah, but Diane just bought 50 cents worth of loyalty. <laughs> Tommy, if you don't get out of here, I will never talk to you again. Oh, okay, I'll be right across the hall. And I'm giving you a break, Alice. <laughs> now, remember, Ruthie, if this turkey here gets out of line, call me. And I'll scream for help. Hi. You said to make myself at home. Well, yeah, except that that's my dad's beer. Hey, I'm sorry, okay? Look, I'll put it back. Thanks, Cubby. That's okay. Everybody's trying to protect you from me, right? I mean, Diane and the kid. Yeah, I guess. You know, I know you're uh, 17 and everything, but uh, I put out some cookies and milk. I love cookies and milk. Terrific. But how long, uh, how long have you been uh, smoking? A couple of years. Here. Oh, no thanks. I'm trying to quit. <laughs> then I won't light this one. Thanks, Cubby. That's okay. We don't want your dad finding cigarette butts all over the place. Right? Right. You might get the wrong idea about me. Yeah. You might get the idea that all I want to do is kiss his daughter. Yeah. We wouldn't want him getting any weird ideas like that. Would we? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Sorry. Come on, Cubby, knock it off. Are you trying to tell me you didn't want me to kiss you? Well, no, I, I, I even dreamed about it. Me too. Honest. Can't we kiss without touching? <laughs> Come on, Ruth. Stop acting like a little girl. You're a woman. No, I'm not. Not yet. I, I think you'd better go home. You're not being fair, Ruth. Stop it! I can't figure you, Ruth. You invite me over and then you push me away. What did you invite me over for? Well, I didn't invite you over to wrestle. <laughs> Probably your daddy calling to see how his baby is. Well, I'm not a baby. I just don't want to have one. <laughs> Hello? Ruthie? Oh, hi, Debbie. Debbie? Uh, what's going on? Listen, Debbie, I, I can't talk right now. You see, Cubby Olsen's here, and, and we're having a real neat time. Uh, Debbie, I think we're going to run out of beer. Run out of beer? Yeah, we're all alone, Debbie. Isn't that terrific? Bye. 
Hey, Larry, where are you going? Uh, I'll tell you later, pal. Was it something I wrote? <laughs> Look, Cubby, I made a big mistake. Now, please go home. Hey, Ruth, do you really want to stay a virgin all your life? Well, no, but I'd like to make it through the night. <laughs> Come on. You don't want to get a guy all steamed up and then turn him off, right? <laughs> you all, uh, steamed up? I'm burning, baby. Well, then, maybe I'd, uh, better, uh, cool you off. <laughs> I want to talk to you, Miss Burning Yearning. <laughs> oh, hi, Dad. I was just going to sleep, so good night. Come back here. What was Cubby Olson doing here? Well, he left, Dad. I, I got rid of him. Good night. Hey. <laughs> Me? <laughs> what was Cubby Olson doing here? Well, I... I... I sort of invited him, Dad. But look, I know what you're going to say. No, you don't, because I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> Ruthie. You thought of something, huh, Dad? Yes, I did. Sit down. What the hell went through your head tonight? I told you not to see Cubby. Well, yeah, but... Yeah, no, yeah, buts. Ruthie, if you'd have listened to me, you might have had a boring evening, but at least you'd have been safe. Do you know the trouble that you could have gotten into? Well, yes, Dad, but, uh, but I got rid of them. How? I know how to handle guys, Dad. <laughs> I'm almost 14. How? Well, I... Well, I poured beer on his head. <laughs> Do you realize the danger you put yourself in with a creep like... He poured beer over his head? Sure cooled off his motor. Well, if you hadn't invited him up here, his motor never would have gotten started. You uh, poured beer over his head? I mean, Thorco and the kid's got a head on his head? Yeah. It's funny, huh, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really very funny. <laughs> Ruthie, you're grounded for a week. <laughs> and no television for a month. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> That's so funny. You left Ruthie alone. <laughs> You're grounded, too. <laughs> you, you guys are in so much trouble. <laughs> you just, what the, <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Stay tuned now for an exciting replay of the Super Bowl game next. Tomorrow on Little House, can Mary save her best friend from marrying the wrong man? Then see the TV Guide special 1980, The Year in Television. Tuesday, Bertie's out to expose the centerfold killer on Lobo, followed by BJ and the Bear. Then the flame of an old love affair is rekindled on Flamingo Road Tuesday.